Uh, it's likely a sign of the paranoid times that we live in nowadays. A woman was detained by police at an airport in the United Kingdom for what they called suspicious behavior. A crew member on board an airplane reported the woman was reading a book about Syrian culture. She was questioned for 15 minutes. The airline in question, Thompson Airways, says crew is trained to report any concerns they might have as a precaution. Joining us now for more on the implications of this story, though, in Ottawa, Cameron Montgomery, an educational psychologist, to discuss whether we have become too concerned with safety and whether that is now leading to paranoia, these kinds of stories. Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Your take on this story, what do you make of it? The first thing that comes to mind is stress. I think there's a lot of stress out there. People are stressed. Air travel is stressful. And uh, I think there's, uh, there's an overreaction uh, to someone reading a book on Syria and uh, a perception of, uh, of a threat that really wasn't there. Is this possibly racial profiling? I believe the woman was Turkish, but the fact the book was about Syria, uh, your take on the implications of that angle, potentially? Once again, I'll go back to the, the stress level. I think um, with the number of, of incidents in Europe, uh, terrorist incidents in Europe, it's an overreaction. People are on edge. They are stressed out. And uh, they, they perceived a threat that really wasn't there. A book on Syria is definitely innocuous. It's innocent. It's not, it's not a threat at all. So what is your advice to people amid all of this? Because as you know, people do travel. People get on airplanes all the time. People see Indeed. things. And we're being told, you know, if you see something, say something. So what is sort of the threshold? Indeed, I, I think we have to leave it to the experts and the professionals. Um, when someone's reading a book on Syria, it definitely doesn't mean that uh, they're plotting anything or that they're a terrorist. I think we have to take the time uh, to really investigate these things, to, to, to not overreact. I think this is the case of, uh, of a definite overreaction. So cool, calm and collected is probably the, uh, the word of the day. When you heard about this story, Cameron, I'm curious whether you were surprised. I was extremely surprised, for sure. Um, as an expert on stress, I think uh, I think it's alarming. I, I do under we're always striving to understand human behavior, um, but I think this is an overreaction to uh, to a re to a real innocent situation. Great to have you on this morning, Cameron. Thanks so much for your time. With pleasure.